Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Building Tutorials. And today, I am going to be working on the haunted house once again. Last episode, I built uh, the walls here, and I also did a little bit of building on the inside. Now, I've turned on the ray tracing this episode because I wanted to use this uh, for, like, the lighting mechanics to make this look a little bit more spooky. So, I've uh, done a little bit of work off camera. I uh, fixed the uh, stairs over here. I gotta put down, like, a lot of torches to be able to see in here. Let me grab uh, just some regular torches because I think these do a little bit better at putting up light. There we go. Uh, but you can see up here, I have done some work on the upstairs area. I've been testing with what kind of, like, walls and floors I want to use. Now, this is actually uh, terracotta here. This is light blue terracotta. It doesn't really look light blue with the, uh, the ray tracing. It kind of looks like a white a little bit, but it is light blue there. So, I think I might try using that for the walls here. I've also got this nice carpet on the floor that I was testing out to kind of have carpet put down. So today, what I'm going to be doing is working on building up these rooms and using these lighting mechanics to make this look like a really cool haunted house. Now, before I get started with working on the inside, I did want to work on putting up some uh, windows for the house here. So I got to find where the rooms are at so I can actually center uh, these windows. But I'm going to put... Uh, probably six blocks windows like this and I'm gonna get I can use pretty much any color of glass I do want to use the glass blocks and not the glass panes because I think these are gonna look better so I'm gonna start with probably the regular like clear glass I didn't want to try either gray or black glass so I'll grab some uh, gray glass here see how this looks so I'll go ahead and put that down and then over here, I'm going to put another one down with clear glass and see what the difference is. So I'll go on the uh, outside here, put that down. So that's what the uh, windows look like. That one uh, has got like a, a white outline. That one over there has got a darker outline. So I think I might go with the darker outline. I think it might make this look a little bit more spooky. Now up here... I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this window. Because the problem is the roof is right there. So I have to put the window on this block for this to be able to work. The other thing that I could do is I could put fake windows in. Where I just put a window in the correct spot like right here. And then like black out the back of it. So that way the window's there but you can't see inside. Which could be a, a cool idea here. And the other thing that I was thinking about doing was possibly putting in uh, like some redstone lamps. So if I go ahead and put a redstone lamp uh, behind the window here. Put the glass in like that. And then if I put uh, some sort of redstone clock on here. Uh, this will make the, uh, the windows flash. So, if I go and make just like a really quick uh, redstone clock, nothing too fancy, uh, and then go and activate this. If I look at it from the outside here, go ahead and fill in the wall. Uh, it's not fully lit up, but you can see that it's kind of like flashing on the inside. So, I could do something with that. It will definitely be a lot slower. Uh, if I build this properly, so you know, I'm, let me just build like a longer redstone uh, clock here. They'll go a little bit slower. Okay, so I've changed it so it's a little bit slower now. This is what it looks like now. Or the other thing I could do is just put standard windows like this, where you can look in and see what's happening. And with the ray tracing here, it actually makes it look really spooky. You can't even see inside. All you can see is the little lantern that's in the room over here. Uh, but out here, you can see everything outside. 
So I think just having like the darker glass might be a pretty good idea. Uh, looks the same with the clear glass as well. Now there is also the new tinted glass. I want to see what the tinted glass uh, would look like. So here's the tinted glass here, and this is even darker. You can still see the lamp on the inside, but it's definitely reflecting more of like the outside uh, light here. Now if I go from this side, uh, you can still see on the outside, but it's definitely a lot darker. And you can also see this reflection over here. So I could go with the tinted glass or just go with the gray regular glass like this. I think I'm going to go with just the regular stained gray glass. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this redstone bit here. Because I don't think it's going to be really necessary for here. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to put in uh, regular windows. Now this window is going to look a little odd because it's not in the best spot. But it should still work. So I'll go ahead and put the window in there. Actually it needs to be one more block over this way. And then I'm going to put another one over on this side in the same exact spot. Because those rooms should be the same size. Uh, I need to go one more block this way so that it's in the center. So there's that. That is what the windows are supposed to look like. I just realized the windows are not centered on the bottom. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, let's see... If I can fix that anyway. Now if I were to move these windows over. They'll no longer be centered on the inside here. There'll be like one extra block over on that side. Which doesn't really look the best. So I think I'm just going to leave them centered in the room here. And then that way you can look out of here. It should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and put some trap doors on the side as well. As kind of like shutters. So, let's see which one looks the best. I might go with the crimson trapdoor. Uh, this one might look good. Maybe the acacia one. I'll even grab the spruce one. I'll grab all these to put on the side here. See which one looks the best for shutters. I kind of like those. The only thing is I don't really like the color. Now, I do have the acacia ones, which are kind of the same pattern, but it's the different direction. So, there's that. And then there's also the spruce ones, which fits in better with the house, like, color. So, I'll go ahead and put these down. This is what each one looks like. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the acacia ones. Because those ones are orange. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and replace these with the Acacia doors. And the other thing is, uh, you can also change where this little latch is at. So over on here, the latch is uh, both facing up. But on the other ones, they're facing up and down. So I'm going to do that for each of these. Okay, so this is what the uh, front of the house looks like now with the windows. I think it makes it look a lot better. It looks more like a house. So now I can go on the inside here and start working on uh, the inside. Now one of the things I wanted to do was put some carpet down. I tried this upstairs with uh, black and red carpet. So I'm going to try it down here where I put probably red carpet down the middle. Now, I can use actual wool blocks, which might be a little bit better. We'll see if uh, this carpet messes up anything. Because the problem with the carpet is it does raise up a very slight bit, which uh, can mess things up. Like, you won't be able to, like, get through this door because you have to, like, step up. And if I want the villagers to go through here, I need to make sure they can actually fit in the door. So let's just grab a, uh, a villager to test this out with. Is there any around here? Alright, here they are over here. They're over at the uh, maze. So I'll just grab this villager here and bring him over to the house and see if they can actually go in and out. Okay, he was able to go out. Can he go in? Okay, he's, he doesn't want to go in. 
They want to go over there, apparently. So I'm assuming if they can make their way out, they should be able to make their way in. Let me just build a little box here so that it forces them to go in. I just want to make sure they can actually go in. Okay, they can go in without a problem. Perfect. So now that I know that the carpet's not going to interfere with the villagers entering and exiting the building, I can go and put the black carpet in like this. I'm pretty sure it won't affect this doorway. If they can get through that, they should be able to get through uh, the other doorway just fine. So I'm going to go and put the black carpet down like that. And then in each one of these rooms, I got to figure out how I'm going to do uh, the lights. So in this room, I have a ceiling uh, with uh, white wool. Now I might change that. I'm thinking the best block for this might actually be the terracotta blocks. So I'm going to grab some white terracotta, maybe even the light gray terracotta might also look good. So I'll test both of these. I'll build like one half of the ceiling out of the uh, light gray here. And then I'll build the other half out of the white. And I also got to figure out how I can like light up this room so I can actually see in here because it's pretty dark with the ray tracing. Okay, so I filled in the entire ceiling here. This is the uh, light gray terracotta. I think this looks pretty good for the ceiling. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to put up a bunch of torches in here because this lights up the room really nice. Now, it's not going to look like this in the end. Eventually, I do want to get uh, the lanterns, maybe even some torches as well. One of these rooms, I want to put a fireplace in because the campfires look really cool with the ray tracing. I want to put one down to see what it would actually do. So the good thing about these campfires is you can put them down and it's not going to burn anything. So I'm going to get rid of these torches real quick. Just so I can see what it would look like if I just have a fireplace in here. So this is what the fireplace looks like. I think it looks really nice. Once I build like an enclosure for this, I think it would look really cool having this in the middle of the room. Maybe even over on this wall. The only thing is... Is, uh, I need it to be like two blocks wide and it'll be centered if I put it right there and then I just put like some stone bricks around there I don't know what I'm gonna do with the smoke though that's the one thing is the smoke is gonna go up uh, I guess I could send it up here and then put like another two campfires down in this room and then continue the smoke all the way up uh, I haven't actually showed you up here yet. So this is the uh, the attic area. There's a lot of space up here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But if I put some torches down, it'll light up this room a little bit. I do want to use this for something because there's plenty of space. If I wanted to, I can split this into two different rooms. If I just build the floor here, there would still be plenty of room for like two extra floors in this attic. But I do want to use this for something in the build. But back to the uh, the fire test. I want to see what actual fire looks like. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, that was a bad idea. Okay, let's put that out. So I'm definitely going to need to turn fire spread off for this to work. Alright, so here's soul campfires. It's the same as like a regular campfire, but it emits like a blue light. So this actually might be cool to give like a little bit of a spooky feel having blue flames. So I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to go and put two campfires there. All right. So here's how I'm going to build this. I'm going to put two mossy stone brick stairs on the side. I'm going to put two stone bricks down underneath. It's actually getting rid of some of the light. But if I build uh, just like one block in front here. And then I might even put like a cage around this. If I grab some iron bars. Put these down in front. Oh that even gets rid of the light as well. This actually makes it a lot darker in the room. So I might actually have to add in some other torches. But I want to put blocks down on the side here and then have like the cage 
protect you from like walking into the fire. Okay, so I've got some soul lanterns here. I want to stick with the uh, the blue color theme. So this is what it looks like with just four lanterns. I might even move this one back one more block so it's not in front of the window. So this is what this room looks like. I think it looks really nice. And now I am going to put some carpeting down in here. I like the uh, the feel of the carpets. So let's get... I've been going with red and black. But maybe in this room I'll go with like a, a gray carpet. So I'll just have... I'm just going to do a single color gray carpet. Just like this in the middle of the room. Might even do it just two blocks. Uh, you know what? I'll do three. I'll do a three block carpet like that. I think that's going to look pretty good. And then I do want to put in some chairs. So if I grab... I'm going to do oak woods for the floor. So I'm going to do probably spruce wood stairs. And just put a three block uh, chair like that. And then I might even put one like underneath the window here. They're not in the same spot, which is kind of annoying. The carpet, you know, let's just move the whole carpet over. That way, everything's going to be centered here. So I'll have these two uh, chairs like this. Carpet right in front of the fire. Great spot to put a carpet. Uh, now, uh, this room is complete. I think this place looks really nice. We'll look at it from the outside here once again. You can even see some of the torches in there. I want to see what does it look like if you look through this window. You can't really see in. You can kind of see the fireplace there. But other than that, it's really hard to see inside of those windows. Uh, and also, if I change it to nighttime, it'll be even spookier. So this is what the house looks like at midnight here. Uh, you can actually see better in the windows here. Uh, you could see a lot more in the rooms, which makes sense because there's more light in there than there is out here. So you can see through the windows. So that's definitely really cool that uh, the windows change depending on the time of day. And these lanterns are actually lighting up the front of the house. So I think it's going to be a, a really cool haunted house. But that's going to be it for today's episode. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.